Hey guys and welcome back to another video and here we are near our main circuit board for our house and what I want to do today is just to share with you and update you guys regarding these uh, meters right over here in terms of power consumption and PV or solar PV production. Now this is the third video and probably the last because I do believe that I've given enough attention to these but I just want to reinforce that they are working really well. I was sure about that when I only had consumption and I'm sure about it right now with the production. Now I also want to before we go that way to share with you that there are two ways of connecting this kind of meter and the first time that I did uh, connect them I did connect both of them on just one circuit. So I would inject my PV solar uh, production in this one right over here and then it would flow on that sense and if I was pulling from the grid it would come this way. Now the disadvantage is that the, these meters do not recognize the direction that the electricity is going. See they will measure uh, if it's going to this way or if it's going to that way and it becomes a bit confusing. And I will try to show you a few images of what I had with just one circuit and what happens is that when we switch on the production and it will start to feed in uh, electricity from the solar PV, what happens is that it will start to lower the number that we have on the consumption because we are pulling less from the grid and that is all fine, it's great. But the problem comes when we only have one circuit, when we are injecting into the grid the excedent then the consumption meter will not recognize the way that the electricity is going and for us that live right over here, me and my family, it will be a little bit more tricky, a little bit more complicated to see if those extra 200 or 300 watts are consumption or if they are um, injection on the grid, the accident. So guys, this was the way that I had on the past when I did install the PV solar panel and after a few days I had to change and I've got what I have right now. So what I have is uh, two circuits. This one is from the solar PV that will inject directly here on the main circuit and there will come out uh, from the main circuits a wire that will fit in the um, electricity for the whole house. So this number will never mess up with this one again. It did at the beginning because they were on just one circuit but at this moment completely different. And what I can see right over here is that at this moment I'm producing 800 watts and I'm consuming 600 watts. So there is 200 watts free to be used. Well at this moment I'm injecting in a grid 200 watts and this is the easiest way uh, to read not only for me but also for my family members. My oldest kid which is 10 years old is already starting to have a lot more attention in terms of what is living on the TVs and so on and so forth uh, because uh, we look at this like this and we have a sense of what we are consuming and what we are producing. So it's nice to see that the family members, my wife including, she will come here and just look at it. Well probably she will ask me hey can I put this or that so until she gets used to it but it is great. And one more thing that I would like to uh, share with you guys is that I'm putting a lot of notes right over here which I will have the chance to share after two months or so. Total production, what I'm uh, using, what I'm injecting, what I'm saving and so on and so forth. But what I can say right now is that I can reinforce and that's why I said this will be the last regarding these meters. I will just reinforce here that they are working really really accurate with a really minimum margin of error and this of course using the official meter from my electricity provider to make all the calculations. So I'm doing it daily, twice a day, on the beginning of the day, at the end of the day and it works like a clock. So really happy uh, to see that these budget meters work really well. And one more thing, if you follow the channel, uh, we did test out some smart meters uh, at this moment. We tested the FRG, we tested the OWL, which I did love the software but I was disappointed. And at this moment uh, I did send them back and I already ordered a new one. Uh, so let's see if that will be the one. I really hope so, but let's see. And in two, three weeks, I'll be able to give you feedback about that. And that is it, guys. I will shut up. If you still have any questions regarding the system, regarding these two meters, just leave a few comments down below. I will try to do my best, as always, to answer them. And uh, if it's necessary to do another video, which I hope it doesn't, I will. And that is it. Hopefully, it was useful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.